guys what is up it has been a hot second since i've sat down to film a pick a card for you guys and i apologize for that things have just been extremely busy and i'm hoping hoping to get on a more regular schedule for you guys okay but we have a cool reading in store for us today this is going to be all about kind of an energy update on your person in mind so basically it's going to be what would they tell you at this time if they could? So maybe you're in communication, maybe you're not. Maybe you're just wondering how they're feeling towards you or what the current energy is like. Well, I am hoping that all of that is uncovered in today's reading. So you guys know how it goes. We have three piles, pile number one, two, and three. Okay, they're all labeled and pre-shuffled, ready to go. So I'm gonna give you guys a second to just take a deep breath. Envision your person in mind and figure out which pile is calling to you, okay? You guys know how I like to do this, okay? Everything is pre-shuffled and ready to go. So if a pile is speaking to you or you just liking the vibes of a specific pile, then it is probably for a good reason, right? So without further ado, let's come right back with pile number one. Hey, what's up, my pile number ones? If you're new, welcome. This is Lunar Goddess Readings. We like to do a lot of pick of cards on this channel. And if you're returning, thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I hope to make it even better with whatever messages are coming through. All right, so pile number one, let's take a look at your person's current energy. And let's see what they want to tell you or what's on their mind. What's going on with pile number one's person. Okay, so I'm actually going to lay the tarot first. So we're going to set the oracle cards down here aside. I don't know if you guys... I don't know if you guys are actually able to see where I'm putting them, but don't worry about them right now. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands. Okay. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Hermit in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles. All right. Then we have the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Sorry about that, guys. I just want to rearrange things really quickly so everything is in your field of focus or should be close to it. Don't worry about it if you can't see a specific card. You guys know I like to kind of pick them up and show them to you as I'm talking about them, so don't panic, okay? And let's take a look at our, our Oracle cards. You guys actually got three out of the um, Romance Angels deck which I decided to keep, all right? Each deck was only supposed to, or each pile was only supposed to get about two, you know, one or two, but you guys got three. So don't tell the other piles, all right? So you guys got worth waiting for, chemistry, flirt, and then from, and then from the map oracle deck, you guys got strength so we'll put that guy down there again don't worry if you can't see a card perfectly okay so right off the bat i don't know you guys i feel like are the pile where you guys have a physical distance or right now you just might be separated or apart some of you um have a work or school obligation which is actually pulling you physically apart where you're maybe not able to see each other, maybe not able to talk. Um, I'm feeling like your person is in a very closed off energy lately. They've been maybe kind of taking a step back from your guys' connection. Um, with the worth waiting for down here, this kind of makes me feel like there is some kind of physical separation because I'm almost hearing that you're not able to be together at this time, but it's something that you guys are planning to do down the road. Okay, so even if it's not a work or school obligation, there's something that I'm feeling for the majority of you that is separating you guys at this time. Um, some of you aren't in communication. Some of you are maybe waiting to communicate with this person, um, waiting to kind of look at your phone and see their name pop up. You're waiting to hear from them. Um, and some of you haven't heard from them in a while, so what I'm feeling, but your person is in an energy where they're just in a very 
consistently busy energy if that makes sense like they're almost so overwhelmed and so I'm hearing like frustrated with the amount of work that they have to do where they're almost like just closing themselves off from the world in order in order to survive and get what they need to be done like they're basically kind of in a place where they have no other choice but to take care of their priorities and maybe to you um it makes it seem like you're not one of those priorities, which is, isn't is true. It shouldn't ever be true. But I'm feeling like they, they can't allow themselves to make you a number one priority because they have other things that they need to like focus on. And maybe your time, their time, it can't be easily spent or invested towards you. But for some of you, I'm feeling like this could be a newer connection um, because we have the chemistry card and we also have the flirt card. So there's a possibility that maybe you met this person at work or school or you're seeing them um, and it's it's like new, it's very new, but I'm feeling that um, whether it's a new or old connection, there's an issue with your person feeling vulnerable or maybe this could be your energy as well, where basically you would rather close yourselves off than to just be vulnerable about what you would you would expect from the connection or what you would need in a connection to make it work because down here we have the strength card number 44 i don't know if you guys have been seeing fours lately but i just wanted to say we have the number 44 and the strength card and it's interesting here because this woman or this fairy lady <laughs> is almost holding the world it looks like kind of like a marble sphere but it's almost like speaking on the story of your person almost trying to juggle the world and keep that balance long enough so that they're able to kind of drive their energy back towards you it's like i feel like pile number one has a plan to be together again someday or a plan that's supposed to work out more long term and right now your person's in that energy of maybe fixating on that like the fact that maybe your connection can't happen right now or they feel like overwhelmed with other things going on in their life so, so much so that they feel like they can't make you a priority and they can't give you the time that they need. But I'm going to tell you that your person very much does feel that attraction to you. If you guys are at this reading trying to figure out do they even care about me? Do they Are they even attracted to me? Like are they really busy? I'm feeling like yes. File well, number one, your person is kind of busy. Um... You know, whatever they're doing, like, I just keep getting pulled back to this Eight of Pentacles card. It's like, they're very invested in something right now. I don't know if financially, maybe they feel a little bit unstable or, like, they don't really know um, what to do next. So they're trying to, like, financially plan for the future, which would make sense if you guys are in school or maybe you work together or something. But the Eight of Pentacles, for some reason, it feels very significant here. All right, and over here we have the Queen of Swords. So whatever the feminine energy is, you can be a man watching this and still resonate with the feminine energy. Like, energy goes both ways in tarot. Um, just wanted to say that. But with the Queen of Swords energy, I'm not sure if maybe um, one of you, I'm feeling it's primarily probably the viewer watching, whoever you are watching right now. I'm feeling like you guys drew some pretty heavy boundaries. Like you said, this is how it almost has to be. Um, these are my expectations. And I'm feeling like your person, um, if they could basically tell you something, say, look, I'm so overwhelmed that I, I don't even know how to meet your expectations. Or I'm feeling that you might have gotten into an argument or you're trying to help them rationalize with a situation or maybe you're trying to be very rational. You might be um, an air sign, so a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, that energy. Because we also do have some swords energy over here. We have a little bit of everything. We have the wands energy. We have the pentacles energy. Um, but I'm feeling that there's some kind of disconnect here because... I don't know. I just feel like it can't happen right now. Like, I feel like you guys might have tried to make it work and it's just it can't happen quite how you would like it to right now. Or maybe it's working, but it's just like... With the worth waiting for card here, I'm feeling like you're just waiting for the end of a road. 
almost together, all right? Or maybe you had to relocate or travel or maybe they want you to move. Your person might actually want you to move. If you have like an offer or a chance to move closer to them, I'm feeling like they might actually want you to move closer, okay? Because this, this reading is also about kind of their energy and where their head's at. So I'm feeling like your person might want you to move closer if that's like a possibility, but obviously it's not always a possibility. Um, as far as their current energy though, with the Eight of Swords here, it's almost like they, they're they feeling too stuck to do anything, especially with the Eight of Wands too. We have two Eights. We have three Eights. We have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Swords, and we have the Eight of Wands. And Eight represents a number that's infinite. Infinite. I said that so funny. Infinite, okay? So that in relationships and love, it... It does create that harmony and balance, and it, it is a very romantic number. It's a very eternal number. So I feel like there is love in this connection for you guys, all right? And I do feel like there are changes coming, you know, like, but I still can't help to almost, um, I'm feeling like, you want that momentum to happen so that you can move along in the connection I'm hearing, but it's almost like I keep hearing the word retrograde, like there's some kind of like retrograde, maybe you guys like met in retrograde or like um, something along those lines, like maybe in the next retrograde, like the energy's going to like get a lot more simplified with this eight queen of swords over here maybe it's, there's just gonna be like some clarity coming through because for some reason i don't know i'm looking at these cards in reverse and i'm like retrograde and that just doesn't happen so i'm feeling like something about maybe you feel like the connection should be moving forward but it's moving backwards all right but I'm going to be doing an extended reading for you guys, so if this reading is resonating with you and you would like to join, join, so if this reading is resonating with you and you would like to join me over to the extended reading, it would mean the absolute world to me, you guys. The support is just overwhelming and you guys are amazing and it would just mean so much if you would follow me over. The extended link will be down in the description. Okay, but if not, and this reading still resonated with you, I would love to hear your situation down in the comments, um, and I would love it if you would join the family and subscribe and like, okay, but, okay, but over in the extended reading, we're going to be looking a little bit more in depth into the situation itself, and we're going to see if there's any outcome or advice that will be kind of happening in the next couple of months, all right? So we're going to be taking a look at that. We're going to be looking at how that energy is going to progress and how your person's going to be feeling about the situation um, relatively soon. Also, guys, if you would like to book a private or personalized reading, all the information to do so will be down in the description. Okay, but without further ado, I will see you guys next time. Have a beautiful day. Bye, guys. Hey, what's up my pile number twos? If you are watching this, then you are interested in knowing your person and mind's energy and sort of what's on their mind and what they're thinking and what they would like to tell you right now. Okay, so you guys know how I like to do it. Everything's pre-shuffled and ready to go. Let's get going. I'm gonna set the Oracle cards off to the side for you guys. And we're gonna start with the original tarot. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Star, we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, you might be dealing with somebody younger than you, you guys both look like you could be water signs though, <laughs> I'm just going to scooch these over to see if we can fit everything in view for you guys and then we have the devil in reverse all right now let's take a look at the oracle cards that we have we have free yourself and we have true love and then we have listening 
Okay, guys. Let's take a look together. I'm sensing that there's a lot of healing going on in your current relationship and connection. I don't know if this is from the past or um, your person. I'm feeling that they might be just going through a deep period of rejuvenation. I'm hearing the word rejuvenation. Like they're trying to recharge their soul and almost heal themselves. All right. I'm, f I'm feeling that with the devil energy in reverse, they might actually deal with um, some feeling like it could be a borderline mental illness. It could be addiction or just a really tough past. I'm feeling with the star energy. It's like they're healing from something from their past so that they're able to sort of look at the connection for what it is. Okay, because we have the Ace of Wands. And it's interesting because with all this water energy, even with the star here, I'm feeling that um, the connection was quite sexual or maybe they're used to being in a sexual energy. So with this connection, um, there's sort of a disconnect here because neither of you are represented with a fire sign right now. Okay, we have Capricorn's energy with the devil. We have Aquarius's energy with the star. Okay, but we have a feminine energy represented with the Queen of Cups, so that's a water. And we have the Nine of Cups in reverse as well, which is also a water. So, oh, excuse me, guys. <clears throat> I'm feeling that they're having a hard time showing you the ways that they care in the connection. And right now they're trying to figure out how to care for themselves. All right. And I'm feeling that you might feel like the connection isn't as reciprocated as you would like it to be. Because i um, feeling that one of you, I'm not sure what side it's leaning on. But it's like there's this temptation and like sexual energy that's sort of like binding you guys together so I don't know if your connection got intimate early on um and now you're kind of unsure as to how to express the real emotional um loving kind of invested feelings I want to say invested I don't know why um because with the nine of cups here in reverse it's almost like you know we have a night that's why I was feeling like the person in mind might be younger to you or they just might act less mature at times um or maybe they're they have like an underdeveloped emotional side and feeling and it's hard for them to kind of express um that they even have like a crush like i'm feeling like they do have those that attraction towards you and they have you know that um chemistry with you but on the other hand it's like they they want to express it kind of like a little kid who has a crush and it's like they don't know how to like step out of that energy because we have like the queen of cups over here and I'm saying that you might be a little bit intimidating to them like your energy might be intimidated to them intimidating to them because they don't even know how to like reach on that level and they're doing kind of necessary healing so that they're able to feel more deeply but right now it's more on the surface level like you know a little kid kind of like oh wow this is what love is this is what um liking someone means this is what caring about somebody means it's like almost brand new to them is what i'm feeling especially with the star energy there's something new about it and um very absorbent like it's it's captivating that's what i'm feeling and I'm, I'm feeling like they're like captivated by this relationship with you but they they still don't know how to reciprocate that to you they don't know how to tell you that they care and that's just because um I'm feeling like they struggle with things kind of below the surface and they, they're trying to go through this period of healing and it's almost like I'm feeling like when you met with the ace of wands here it's feeling like it was a spark like kind of like a epiphany where they were like whoa this is like what I would have to do in order to um kind of maintain the connection like, I would have to go through this necessary healing, almost like a spiritual awakening. Like, they're starting to understand things at a more, at a deeper level. All right, and down here with listening, I'm getting the sense that it's hard because both of you, both of the energies coming up here, both the knight and the queen coming up in reverse. So I'm feeling that this person, they have a hard time 
communicating. And I'm feeling like you might do more of the talking, even if you're the masculine energy watching, because, you know, there isn't feminine and masculine, like, man and woman technically in tarot. So I'm just saying this because that's just what I'm feeling and sensing. Um, and a lot of my viewers are predominantly female. I'm feeling that you might have a better time with communication or maybe even with this water energy it might be a little too heavy for them even though they're represented from a water sign I'm feeling like it's almost too emotional for them like they don't know how to um process that and give that back to you so it's like I feel like they're really good listeners but they're not so good at conversing like you're the only one talking like I'm feeling like you might feel like you're talking to yourself <laughs> a lot and they're just kind of like I don't know what I can give you to make you feel validated because this is kind of like all I have and it feels very surface level and maybe even um shallow at times because it comes off it's like do you just want a sexual relationship with me but I'm feeling like conversation has to happen in order to kind of expose I feel like you almost have to like call them out like hey this this is what I'm seeing this is what I'm feeling is this true and I feel like you almost have to call them out so that they they kind of like stop and they're like forced to step into a more mature energy and a more refined energy because right now it just feels very youthful and very just kind of like fun loving like when with the knight of cups this just kind of talks about crushes like having a crush um wanting to express like hey i have feelings for you kind of what does that even mean you know what i mean so <laughs> um with the listening card i'm feeling that conversation has to happen or that um they've been listening to you and kind of like how you've already been expressing yourself and they're just trying to like figure it out a little bit here but with the true love card here i'm feeling that they do have an attraction beyond sexual for you like i'm feeling that there are real emotions involved here i'm just feeling like the knight of cups might even feel a little less than the queen of cups okay because even just like looking at the layout kind of how it swoops this is just how i laid it out so i don't know well, I do know. I I did. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. It's almost like the Queen of Cups, she's like up here, and the Knight of Cups is like down here, like coming out in kind of the center of the spread. So it just feels very much like your person looks to you for like the next move. Like, what do I do now? Like, how do I react? What's the best best way for me to move forward in a connection where I am feeling actual feelings for this person because I'm feeling that they're not used to it they don't know how to process it all right and with the devil here they might have been used to being in like a sexual energy like a very sexual energy maybe like one night stand like I'll keep things real on the surface and now they're like I don't know what to do and because you guys are both coming up in reverse it's like you're both stuck so feeling that free yourself is coming up is a way to just kind of for them to just kind of release themselves from all of their preliminary notions of love and what romance means to them. Maybe they're afraid of getting invested and involved in a committed relationship or a long-term relationship or truly expressing and exposing their emotions because something within them that they're trying to heal from the past is telling them that maybe they're not they're not able or they're not good enough to receive that, which is actually really sad. And I'm feeling that the healing process that they're dealing with right now, they might even be physically freeing themselves from a toxic situation, but I'm feeling that more so they're just freeing themselves emotionally so they're able to give to you, all right? But that's what I'm getting for you guys, pile number two. I hope this was helpful. And I will be ex doing an extended reading um, on your pile. So if this is resonating with you and you would like to join me over to the extended reading, the information to do so will be down in the description. So down below, just click on it, join me over. It would mean the absolute world to me. I want to take a look at how their energy is going to progress in the next couple of months and get a couple of clarifiers and see where this connection is going for you guys and if it's worth it for you guys right now. Okay, because genuinely interested honestly the energy is quite interesting right now so 
definitely want to get some clarifiers for you guys. But if not, thank you so much for joining me today. If this resonated with you, please drop down in the comments. Tell me your situation if you would like to share. And give me this video a like. And subscribe if you want to join the family. Lunar Goddess readings. Woo! All right. <laughs> I'll either see you guys over in the extended or I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day. Bye, guys. Hey, my pal number three is last but not least. Okay, we're going to be checking in on your person in mind's current energy as well as kind of what they want to tell you and what's on their mind currently. All right, so let's dive right into it. Sorry, you guys, it's been so long since I've uploaded anything. Like I said in my intro, I'm hoping to do a better job um, at uploading more regularly. It's just hard because I am in college and things have just been extremely busy, but I'm happy to be filming this for you guys now. All right, that's enough. So, <laughs> you guys have the Hierophant. We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, okay. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups. Interesting. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands. Let's see if we can move these things over so you guys can see everything. Don't worry if you can't see a card. You guys know that um, I like to pick up cards and kind of show them to you as I'm talking about them. So don't panic. All right. And then we have the chariot and we have the king of pentacles. Yeah, you guys were the pile who got an extra tarot card. Okay, and now let's take a look at what you guys got for your oracle cards. From the Romance Angels, we have Heart to Heart Conversations, and we have Wedding. Okay, and then um, from the Magical Maps Oracle deck, I think that's what it's called. I hope that's what it's called, but everything will be down in the description if you guys are interested. We have Stuck in the Mud. All right. So right off the bat, the chariot is calling out to me. It's like your person is trying to become balanced in a way. I'm not sure if maybe um, they feel imbalanced because I'm feeling for most of you, you guys aren't. Ah, this is an interesting energy. All right, your person is trying to become balanced because it's like you. some of you are in a committed relationship or maybe like you've been in a committed relationship for a long time, but there's some sexual kind of fiery energy here that makes it feel like it could be newer and you're waiting to see if, um, you know, you're gonna get this King of Pentacles energy and this Hierophant energy where it's very much so committed and, um, you know, an exclusive connection. All right, but with the Seven of Cups energy here, it's almost like there's a lot of anxiety going on in your person's mind because they have a lot of options. Now, they might be very busy, um, but I'm feeling like with this Knight of Wands energy, which I'm feeling like they're currently in, they're more in a free, free-for-all type of energy. It could be a, even a little selfish, kind of like, who's like fitting my fancy the best at this time, if that makes any sense. Like, if they have a lot of options or just talk to a lot of people, I'm feeling like they're very attractive and they're like kind of well-known maybe like at school or at work or something like that like they just get along well with everything or everybody excuse me so I'm getting like they have this very charming energy um so for some of you if you are in a relationship you might be concerned that they're talking to other people or that you know they don't have enough time for your connection anymore or maybe that they're not interested or if you're just involved with this person and you're wanting this commitment and you're wanting them to become this king of pentacles energy this more grounded energy it's like they they're having a hard time deciding what to do and it's like they're quite defensive over your connection or just over having a connection in general because i'm feeling like they don't want to decide it's like they might even want the best of both worlds at this point where like they might have these options kind of around them 
but they don't want to decide whether or not to pick one and it could be giving them a hard time feeling balanced like they they might be feeling imbalanced or something within them feels imbalanced if they're not involved with um multiple people like it's a very interesting energy i'm also feeling like maybe they're trying to fulfill like for those of you where that's not resonating like you know that your person's very loyal and um committed and there's no chance and um a third party situation or somebody who's kind of in a player energy they might have a hard time balancing out kind of their priorities and like what they want from life and in life at this time and it leaves them kind of um struggling with feeling balanced because they they almost want the control with the hierophant over here it's like they want the control over their lives so they're able to feel that balance and they're able to feel good about themselves and maybe even the connection maybe as of right now, what they would want to say to you is they're having a hard time um, reaching a balance in their life where they can come up with a decision and sort of pick an option. Um, and that might be why they're trying to kind of keep things lighter or even more intimate or like sexual for some of you because it's the name, the page of wands kind of talk to me about like a fling energy, which doesn't have to be the case, but um, it could just be somebody who isn't really owning up to all their actions like they're just kind of like i'm along for the ride like i'm here for a good time like i want to have fun with you i want to you know go on dates with you i want to take you to the movies and you know this and that but it's like when it comes to commitment it's like they reserve this energy for a special place in time you know what i mean like a special person and i feel like for some of you they are transforming into this king of pentacles energy where um they want to be grounded and committed and maybe offer you something sub substantial okay because we do have wedding down here so i'm feeling like for some of you um maybe you're wondering if you're gonna get married if you've been together for a while they might be having anxiety because you know not like cold feet because for those of you who have been in a relationship like i'm getting um especially with the king of pentacles down here i'm feeling like they're good at being in this energy, but it's almost like a cold feet type of vibe because they're like, whoa, well, what if I haven't fulfilled everything that I had to before getting tied down? So it's almost like a conflicting thing that I'm picking up of. And I know that's very specific and that's only going to resonate for some of you. Um, but for some of you, you guys might be talking about marriage with the wedding and the hair event here. All right. And with the heart to heart conversations, I'm feeling like they've been wanting to come to you and kind of just talk to you about um how they've been feeling but they might be afraid to because they don't i'm feeling that for their those of you where they're like afraid to come to you and talk to you they're like afraid to do this because they don't want to put doubt into your mind because they don't necessarily have doubt it's just like they're torn because their attention's kind of um clouded over here in the seven seven of cups it's like they're looking at all these options and they're trying to pick one all right and each one of these cups has something different to offer and it's like they're in a very ambitious and um excited energy even like maybe they have like a new opportunity or something that they're trying to pursue that's just like vocational or something along those lines like just getting their life going or just like pursuing a dream or a goal um so that might be where that energy is coming from where they just might feel overwhelmed at this point thinking of how the per the connection may or may not progress um because we also have stuck in the mud so i'm feeling like they're having a hard time getting to the next level if you guys are just kind of talking or dating casually feeling that they're having a hard time transforming into this king of pentacles energy but the possibility is there like they are thinking about it it's just like they don't I'm feeling like they're not ready to give up the seven of cups yet and it's like with the stuck in the mud and the heart to heart conversations it's like they need to hear it from you or maybe you need to hear it from them so the connection can kind of move forward like so they can stop being so defensive and they the chariot as well is all about moving forward like feeling balanced enough to move forward so i'm feeling for a lot of you you guys might feel kind of stagnant even if you're in a committed relationship or you have been in a while and some of you who are thinking about marriage or that kind of commitment on that level it's like 
they need to feel balanced in order for them to kind of level up into like the next stage or progress or being able to offer you commitment as far as just being, you know, in a stable, committed relationship where, um, you know, they don't have any other options and they're not talking to any other people, all right? And I'm feeling like at the core, um, they could be an earth sign, so you might be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Taurus, um, or, you know, it could be a fire sign, they, they could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, or maybe have, like, a fire moon, um, because I'm feeling like they're very much in their emotions right now, they're not, they know, like, the practical way to go, to be, like, this King of Pentacles energy, like, they know what they would like to do, Moving forward is what I'm feeling, um, especially because we have the Hierophant and the Chariot kind of like mirroring each other on both ends. That's like the general feeling I'm getting. Like they know the direction they have to move, but there's just something keeping them back. There's something giving them anxiety. Like they're thinking about this thing a whole lot. Um, and for some of you, it is that you're going to get married or it could just be like, for those of you where you feel like your person does have a lot of options, I'm feeling that um, they know that you have that potential to be that person that they're with for a very long time, if not like even marry, like they might see you as somebody very special. So it's even more anxiety for them because they're feeling like if they were to like maybe pick the wrong choice or make the wrong decision regarding you, that they would miss out on something very significant. All right. So that's why they're kind of stuck right now. But I will be doing an extended reading on this so we can get clarifiers on every single card here and just see how their energy is going to progress in the next couple of months and see where this relationship is going and see if we can get any clarifiers um, going forward. All right, so it would mean the world to me if you guys would go down in the description and follow me over to the extended reading if this is resonating with you. Um, it helps me out a whole lot and it would just mean so much to me. But if not, if this reading resonated with you, please let me know down in the comments how it was resonating. Um, I love reading your guys' feedback. It's my favorite thing to do. And other than that, leave a like if you'd like to join the family in Lunar Goddess Readings. I have a lot of exciting things in store for this channel. That's all I got for um an outro, right? There's an intro and an outro. So this is the outro. I'll see you guys later. Have a beautiful day. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!